Hey guys, Sandra here. Um, so last weekend I went to the States and I did some running around to some different grocery stores and I just thought I'd show you some of the things that I got. So the places I went were Costco, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Kroger's, and then a new store that I found called Plum Market, which is sort of like Whole Foods. So I'll start with Costco. Um, okay, so I got some more of my absolutely favorite beets, my Safi beets. Let's see here. Hopefully that'll zoom in. Sodium is very low. So that's why I love them. I'm sure they're not perfect because they're pickled, but no fat and so a calorie for serving is 80 calories, sodium is 40. Better than better. And then the next thing I found, I finally got my organic Normandy. I love Normandy vegetables. So to get to try them, organic is exciting for me. <laughs> um, okay, so there's that one. At Kroger's, my husband asked me to pick up some of these Amy's pizzas. They're the no cheese ones. Uh, so it's roasted vegetable, no cheese. Made with organic shiitake mushrooms, sweet onions, and roasted red peppers. These are really, really yummy. They're very good. Um, they are vegan, obviously. Um, they're very high in sodium. And they're pretty high in fat. I think it's about 30% fat. So it's high for what I eat anymore. So I bought him a couple of these and at most I might try like a piece, a bite or something, but they're for him and um, you know we always just add whatever vegetables we want on top, but if you have a non-vegan partner, these are good. <laughs> so. Um, so that was Kroger and then the other thing at Kroger I got which I was pretty excited about is I got my first sweet leaf drops. These are the vanilla cream ones, and, and they were on sale, so I got it for $10. I still want to try the English toffee, which they did have, I think, but it was a lot more. I think it was like 16 so I wasn't going to spend that. Um, okay, and we'll move on to Trader Joe's. There. So at Trader Joe's... I got a lot more of these. I think I bought like six more of these. I just like having a lot of a lot of these things that I can't get in Canada. I like having them on hand. Good for making pasta and or lasagna or anything else. So yeah, these are calories are 60 per serving and sodium's 35, so that's perfect. No salt added, that would just be right from the tomato. So I got lots of those. My husband tried the chili pepper sauce that's recommended by Kaylee and Nicole on Banana TV. He loves it. I tried it and it's too hot for me. <laughs> Maybe if I use very, very little. But there's the symbol of how hot it is. It's pretty high up there. It's past medium. But no salt and no fat. Um, and then something else I was very excited to find was this. Fire Roasted Tomato Salsa, a Trader Joe product. And right there, no salt added. So I like my stuff mild. This is a little less than medium. I'm hoping I'll like this. But it has zero fat. The calories are 10, the sodium's 20. Not bad. And that's for two tablespoons. I can handle that. I'm hoping one day that we see more and more products like this, but I would like a black bean and corn one. That's my favorite type of salsa. And then I found this one, which is also Trader Joe's. It's hot chipotle salsa with a lightly smoky taste. So low sodium, fat free. So the calories are 10, sodium's 40. That's still doable. No fat in it. 
only this one is going to be spicy. So I think my husband's going to like this one. So we'll see how both of those go. Got some, let's see here, diced and no salt added vine ripened tomatoes. So that's pretty cool. It says not a sodium free food, no salt added. So when you come back here per serving is 30 calories and sodium's 15. That's again just what's in the tomato. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, let's see, what did I get at Whole Foods? I got a bunch of these, more diced tomatoes, and the reason I buy these, I can get salt-free tomatoes in Canada, but in Canada we, we package everything in like more like a 19 ounce can, whereas in the States it's more like a 15 ounce can. So I buy these because a lot of my recipe books are coming from the States. They're coming from people who have authored them in the States. So. All their recipes call for these 15 ounce cans, so now I have lots of those to use. And that's why I bought these as well. Just the more no salt added. Yum yums and yum yums. I got lots and lots and lots of each of those. Mm, what else did I buy there? Oh, hold on. So another request from my husband are these field roast Italian sausages made from grains. This, these ones are the medium heat ones. So what he's been doing lately when we make our own pizza, not using the Amy's, is he just um, kind of crumbles this up. He cooks one of these up and then breaks it all apart and it's kind of like having bacon on his pizza. And so the last one he was trying was I think the chipotle ones and those were a bit hot. So. These ones he's thinking will be perfect because they're just medium. So I got one of those for him. Ooh, got some more stuff for me. I got some more of my favorite burgers, Engine 2. So these are very good. And I've probably mentioned it lately, but I like having two patties now. I use one of each. <laughs> I forgot about Trader Joe's. I did mean to mention I got this for my husband as well. I got him two of these. These are the Cliff Bar Cool Mint um, flavor. These are our favorite flavors. I love this too, but I just don't eat them hardly at all because although they're full of vitamins and minerals, it's all just been added. It's not natural. There's no, there's no natural. There's nothing wholesome. <laughs> this does not grow, so... I try not to eat it and I have no problem with cravings now like I know I love those but I have no problem not eating them because I'm so carved up um, once I have a smoothie I'm good to go so no problem there but my husband can enjoy them um, no, no, no. let's see here so I guess there's really only two more things left and these are what I found at, at that store called Plum Market and I was very excited to see them. I got these for my husband because he likes mac and cheese and they're vegan. Just zoom in there. Vegan, non-GMO. So on the nutrition part, I've got his regular craft dinner here just to give an example of how it pairs. So on the craft dinner, this is per 50 grams. It's 180, and this is just dry mix. 180 calories and 1.5 grams of fat. These ones are for 70 grams servings. They're 260 calories, so I'm going to guess that's about the same. The fat is 2.5, so it's a little higher in fat. The sodium on the regular Kraft Dinner is 320 milligrams, and on these ones it's 550, so the sodium's higher, the fat's higher, but the cruelty is lower, so that's what I'm excited about. I want him to try these. 
they were very expensive. They were three dollars and twenty nine cents each. So he would never <laughs> buy these at that price. But I wanted to see if he even liked the flavor. Earth Balance is perfect. I tried Earth Balance back when I wasn't really trying to when I just went vegan. When I first switched over, I wasn't thinking about low fat and all that stuff, wholesome, all natural. So I was trying it and it's it's great. It's just like it's a great substitute. Works perfectly. So I'm thinking this is going to be very yummy, but we'll find out to make sure. Um, but I'm thinking it's good to know so that when prices come down, if they ever come down to reasonable, even like one and a half times regular craft dinner price, then it's worth it's worth buying. So that was my shopping haul. It was a, a long day. It was like six hours of shopping. I had a ball, ran into traffic, got lost. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so that's it, and I'm going to post a picture of that plum market. I took a picture of it. I'm sure people thought I was weird as they're carting out, <laughs> but I took a picture. It was cute. Anyway, so that's it. I hope you guys had a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye, guys.